Yeah, what's up guys? Welcome back to digitalh.com. And this is probably gonna be the last video for our to do maker series. And guys, in this video, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, you know, write the code to edit these to do's that we created and we're gonna write the code to delete them. So, what I'm gonna do is very first, uh, probably I'm gonna create a new file. Okay, I have to delete this folder. And I'm gonna create a new file. I'm gonna name this one to edit.php. Okay. Uh, the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to open the file where we are listing the to-dos and uh, probably not here go back uh, to index.php and here we will have to create uh, two links for edit and delete so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say a ref to edit.php and I'm gonna say ID gonna be equal to PHP echo dollar value and you're probably gonna be the ID okay and let's say for the title php uh, echo dollar value and a title here okay and we don't want the target to be blank and here i'm going to say edit and the next thing is we need a link for delete as well so for the delete uh here i'm going to say action would be you know index.php and here i'm going to say delete equals to that particular id and here I'm gonna say delete so come back refresh the page now we have these two links and we don't need you know any pipes out there so okay so this particular link will take us to the edit.php file that we haven't created till now and the next one gonna be you know uh, delete like to the same file but uh, we're gonna you know append delete equals to that particular to do ID to index.php so <clears throat> Guys, here, okay, okay. I already have an edit.php file, and it's actually blank. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna open the add new.php file. I'm gonna copy everything from here, and I'm gonna paste it here. Uh, very first, I'm gonna remove the file uh, that's actually required to create a to do because this time we won't be creating it. We would be, you know, editing them. So I'm gonna take that particular file off from here. Okay. Uh, guys the next thing we need to do is you know we need to make this particular select box a more dynamic like very first we need to check out the current status or i would say the current label of the to do and then we will ha have to show that very like the, that one on the very top and the rest of them on the bottom and we need a slider to let the user change the progress to you know between 0 to 200 so uh, I'm going to take these options off from here and on the top uh, I'm going to include a new file I want to say include once lips slash uh, list to do dot php okay like this and guys I'm going to go to lips I'm going to open the list to do dot php file like the one we created earlier and here I'm going to say if is set uh, dot or get id that means we are getting any id uh, in the url then go ahead and do something else and i'm gonna you know copy all of this from here and i'm gonna cut it from here and i'm gonna paste it inside that particular else statement okay uh here what i'm gonna do is uh, i'm gonna say dollar id will be equals to dollar get id okay and uh, I'm gonna you know copy this and here I'm gonna paste it and here I'm gonna say ID I believe this is actually not gonna do work for us so let's go back open the folder called classes and I'm gonna open the file called manage to do uh, here it says if it's a dollar status no guys probably you know we need to you know create one more uh, method out here so I'm gonna say function uh, list uh, indi individual to do okay and here I'm gonna say a dollar per it can be anything and here I'm gonna say for each dollar per as dollar key dollar value because uh, we actually gonna pass an array out here so dollar value okay and here I'm gonna say dollar query 
gonna be equal to the other this length 40 and here I'm gonna say select all from to do where the dollar key is equal to uh, dollar value and limit it to one only okay and here I'm gonna say uh, and if username is equal to we're gonna you know pass the username as well here so I'm gonna say username is equal to dollar username okay like this and here I'm gonna say dollar accounts gonna be equal to dollar query row count and I wanna take it away from here we're gonna you know make it outside the for each loop here I'm gonna say if dollar counts is equal to equals to one okay that means we got some results otherwise go ahead let's say dollar result gonna be equals to dollar accounts and if we are getting something then say dollar result gonna be equals to dollar query and fetch all the data from that particular row and finally we're gonna return dollar result because every function will return something so copy it uh, come back to list to do here I want to paste it and guys very first gonna be an array here I'm gonna say ID is equals to dollar ID okay and here for the username I want to grab this particular variable called session name okay so instead of saying this to do let's say okay that's fine let's create a variable called this to do so I'm gonna come back to uh, edit.php and guys probably here what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say PHP for each dollar list to do as dollar TD okay edit here and probably uh, edit here okay then I'm gonna say uh, for the value here I'm gonna say value would be PHP echo dollar title so come back uh, let's see whether we get anything or not so I'm gonna you know hit this particular edit button and here it says there is an undefined variable title okay I have to say dollar td title like this okay. refresh once again here it says second one that's awesome so I'm gonna copy it from here and here I'm gonna say uh, description okay uh, for due date I'm gonna say value will be uh, due date okay and the label under guys we're gonna you know make a couple of checks for that so let, let's leave it for a second and guys next thing we need is a progress so I'm gonna say dev with a class of form field okay uh, guys very first we're gonna create a dev let's say c bar okay and leave it just like that okay uh, next I'm gonna say a dev ID progress okay and inside this particular div, I'm gonna say TD progress, like our current progress till now. And here I'm gonna say a person take sign. And in the very last, we're gonna create a hidden input field. So I'm gonna say input type hidden uh, name to let's say progress value. Okay, uh, let's say value would be this particular thing. Copy it, paste it here. And for the ID, I'm gonna say the progress value, okay? And, yeah. and guys, for these particular, you know, uh, select whether it's under inbox or uh, which particular label it is under. So uh, out here, I'm gonna say dollar given array, like all of our, uh, you know, predefined labels that we already have. So one of them is an inbox, okay? Um, the other one is I want to grab it from you uh, the other one is read later so copy it paste it 
and the very last one is the important one so i'm gonna copy that one as well and i'm gonna paste it here okay guys the next thing is we need to find out uh, which particular label we selected at you know at the time of creating it so i'm gonna say dollar selected array gonna be equals to an array okay dollar td label okay and then i'm gonna you know find out the array difference so i'm gonna say uh, let's say array remaining uh, they're gonna be array difference guys it's a predefined php function that will let you you know find out the difference between two arrays so here uh, i'm gonna say down or uh, given array and here so i'm gonna copy selected array as well from here and i'm gonna paste it here okay guys now very first we need to echo out the value of the one we selected so i'm going to say php echo here i'm going to say option with a value to dollar td and label okay so this is going to be the one we actually selected dollar td um, let's say here label uh, like this okay and now I'm gonna you know one one more for each statement. I'm gonna say for each dollar uh, array remaining as AR. Okay, and I'm gonna you know copy it from here, and I'm gonna paste it here, and here I'm gonna say you know AR, take it away from here, and AR here, and take this particular thing away as well. Come back, refresh, and let's see what we have. So here it says uh, we selected uh, you know inbox and here we only have two so guys you know what we are trying to do is we are just trying to make sure that we are we are not duplicating them because if I'm give, if I'm only gonna echo the one we selected and if I'm gonna you know put uh, these three like a static one then we're gonna you know have a duplicate of inbox okay so that's what we are you know just trying to stop uh, if I've selected inbox they're gonna be on the very top then only we're gonna have you know uh, you know the remaining one if I'm gonna select the read later one they're gonna be in the top and then we're gonna have you know the remaining one on the bottom okay guys now we are left this or left with this particular you know uh, progress how much it is so the best thing we can do is like you know probably if you want you can give the user an input input box where they can you know add it manually but again guys you know trusting the user input is like you know fooling yourself because a user might gonna enter you know some letters and if you want to and if you're going to write you know some uh jquery checks for that that the user is not entering uh any letters is again you know fooling yourself because you will have to write a lot of code for that the next thing you can do is you can give the user you know a select uh options like this then that again gonna be you know very much hectic for the user because the user will have to select from 100 values the best we can do is we can go ahead and we can grab a jquery ui slider and we can give the user, you know, a very nice interface from where they can actually slide between 0 to 100 and they can, you know, select it from there. So what we need to do is, guys, go ahead uh, to jQueryUI.com, go to demos, and you're going to find out this particular awesome slider. Okay, they have, you know, some different options whether where we can, you know, have a fixed maximum or we can, you know, have a fixed minimum and a lot of, you know, other options. So I'm going to go to download again. And guys, if you remember, we downloaded the date picker last time so if i'm going to download only the slider this time we're going to have two copies of jquery ui and i don't want to do that so what we're going to do is very first uh we're going to deselect all components and i'm going to select date picker like the one we selected last time and i'm going to select the slider so we're going to you know uh generate file for these two uh ui widgets one is slider and the other one is date picker and guys, I'm going to go back to Redmond. If you remember, we selected the Redmond one last time and I'm going to hit download. Okay. And once it would be downloaded, I'm going to, I'm just going to grab the copy of it. Okay. Uh, here, I'm going to say open containing folder. I'm going to cut it from here, close it, uh, come back here. Now, again, I'm going to, you know, rename my CSS to CSS1 and JS to JS1. Okay. I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to extract everything. Okay. 
once you're done I'm gonna delete the zip folder I'm gonna delete the index.php file and we do and we don't need any development bundle as well so I'm gonna delete that as well guys I'm gonna copy these two files and I'm gonna you know paste from here just remove and replace yeah next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this particular Redmon folder okay I'm gonna come back to CSS I'm gonna cut it from here and I'm gonna paste it here now I'm gonna delete their folders ah from here I'm going to rename mine to CSS and mine to JS okay guys now we are done and we already have included these files to our header file if you remember so I'll open the header.php see we already have a copy of jQuery uh, UI 1.8 and we have a copy to the style sheet as well uh, next thing we need to do is we just need to call these uh, you know the methods of the slider uh, inside our header.php file so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back Okay, we already have, uh, you know, the one selected with range with fixed maximum. I'm going to come back. I'm going to open view source, copy everything from here. Okay, <clears throat> come back to the file and paste it here. Now, guys, next thing we need to do is we need to, you know, just uh, rename uh, these devs to the one that we already have inside our edit.php file. So the very first one where we want to show the you know a slider as a div with an id of seek bar so i'm going to copy it and i'm going to open my header.php file and i'm going to paste it here okay so i'm going to say seek bar and guys seek bar here as well okay uh, next thing here it says amount so uh, i'm going to come back and i'm going to you know copy progress and go back to header.php here i'm going to say progress okay and here uh, guys what we need to do is this particular div will show the value to the user but we do need to save the same value to an hidden input as well so that you know anytime we are you know editing it we are actually like we are actually say uh, you know able to save it to our database so uh, you know if i'll go back to my edit.php file once again and you will notice uh you know we have an hidden input fill field with an id of progress value so i'm going to copy it and i'm going to go back to my header.php and guys you know i'm going to copy it and paste it here and then i'm going to you know cut it from here paste it here and paste it here as well okay i believe we are all done with our ui slider so come back and refresh our page let's see what we have okay we already have one so if i'm gonna you know drag it oh it's not doing anything so far so check out our console no we don't have any errors now we you know need to check out where uh, we have the problem so very first i'm gonna save you know the minimum to one or probably zero and you know a maximum 200 okay and here it says ui.value and here it says seek bar. I believe everything is fine. Okay, here I have to say HTML because this particular dev with a progress is not an input or any kind of a form element. So we cannot have a value for it. We have to say HTML. Okay, so I'm going to come back. I'm going to refresh it. And every time, guys, I'm going to, you know, drag it. See, it's, uh, it is actually going to change the value for us. And maximum, it kind of, you know, let us go up to 100. And one more thing we can do is, you know, right now we only have numbers. We do not have any percentage sign. So here I can say a plus so that we can, you know, dif uh, you know differentiate between a variable and a string. So I'm going to say plus and I'm going to, you know, append my string uh, like a percentage to it. So refresh one more time. And guys, you will see that we are able to, you know, update the progress. And there is no any margin for error as well. So, uh Next thing, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this tile sheet and I'm going to, you know, reduce the width for it. And, I'm, you know, I'm going to just give some margin from top and margin from bottom. So, uh, guys, do one more thing. What we need to do is go back, open CSS, tile.css out here. Uh, I'm going to say for field, okay, should have width to 29%. Okay, then I'm going to say ID seek bar uh, should have a margin top to 20 pic 20 pixels or probably let's say 10 pixels okay and i'm gonna say margin uh, bottom uh, 
bottom to 10 pixels. Okay, so come back, refresh. Okay, this is how we have it. And now we can, you know, drag it once again, and you will see we have the same awesome effect. Okay, guys, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say ID progress should have some margin bottom as well because, you know, it's touching this particular create button. Okay, guys. Now, next thing we need to do is very first, I'm going to change the value from create to edit. And I'm going to say edit to do instead of say create and edit to do here and for a title as well. So I'm going to say edit to do. Okay, guys, this is how we have. Now we can you know, change the percentage. We can select a different label. If you want, we can change the due date. We can change the description and the title as well. Next thing we need to do is we need to, you know, write the script uh, just in order to edit it. And we also need to write the script to delete it. So very first, in this particular video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to write one for delete. And guys, you will have to wait for one, one more media, video, I'm sorry, so that we can, you know, write the script for edit as well. But in this video, we're only going to focus on the delete one. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to come back to my index.php and I uh, here I'm gonna you know include one more file include one to delete dot php okay so come back go to libs create a new file name this one to delete dot php here I'm gonna say if is it dollar get delete that means we are you know getting a query string with delete in our URL then go ahead and you know very first we need to include the class i want to include once classes slash manage to do dot php and here i have to say class manage to do probably and i want to say an init variable gonna be equal to an instance of our class manage to do okay <clears throat> and we're gonna you know run the function are probably method in order to delete it so I'm gonna go back to my class to you know to do here I'm gonna copy it from here and I'm gonna paste it here very first I'm gonna say dollar in it this particular function and guys for the username I'm gonna say session name okay and for the ID I'm gonna create that variable here so I'm gonna say ID will be equals to dollar ID get uh, delete here okay uh, and let's say dollar delete and here I'm gonna say if dollar delete is equals to equals to one go ahead create a variable called success let's say uh, you have deleted uh, yeah, successfully okay like this else uh, we're gonna you know, create and one, one more variable ever and here I'm gonna say sorry uh, there was an error okay I believe that's all we need and guys we need to include the session file as well otherwise we won't be able to access this particular variable called session name so I'm gonna say include once session.php I'm gonna come back to index.php file and probably somewhere out here uh, go back to add new I'm gonna copy these this particular you know bunch of PHP code and I'm gonna paste it here what this PHP code is uh, you guys it, it's gonna find for a variable called error and if it is it's gonna you know echo it out and if there is a success it's got it actually gonna echo that code as well so come back uh, refresh let's hit delete here it says you have deleted it successfully refresh and we don't have it uh, you know there anymore plus it says sorry there was an error as well so uh, as best we can do is you know instead of showing any messages here we can just redirect the user back so come back to delete one and here i can say header uh, location to index.php so try one more time uh, I'm gonna hit the to do maker here. I'm gonna say delete and guys there are no more to do's under this particular section If we want we can create more let's say uh, the one after delete Okay, copy it paste it due date gonna be tomorrow for sure. I'm gonna end this 
but you're going to reduce your risk tomorrow. So it created, it says it's created successfully. Come back to the index file. We already have it here. If you want, we can delete it. Uh, we can edit it, but we haven't drawn any code to edit it. We're going to write it in the next video. So I want to see you guys next time. Goodbye.